So to get started with adding an image, it's actually pretty simple. We'll go to where it says media and let's just click on that. And you can actually add images, videos, all kinds of things here. And I just took a few different pictures and uploaded them already. But to do that, what you would do is want to click add new and then you'll go to select files, find the files that you want to add and then click on them and then click open to attach them. And when you do that, it will start to load the file like this. And I actually wanted to show you where I got all these pictures because I use a free site to get them and it's called unsplash.com and it says free, do whatever you want, high resolution photos. And if you just wanted to scroll down through these, there's so many different options on ones that you could add and you can just select whatever ones you're interested in. So let's say I like this photo right here. I can click on it will become a large image and then I can just go and click download here in the upper right and it will automatically download the file and then we can just upload it here into the media files so after you do that you can go and add it to a post if you want so let's just go here and I have this test post right here on this dummy site and it just says test post so if I wanted to add it to my blog post here I can go to where it says post and now here we're going to just go and click edit on the test post and if we want to, we can add media right here with this tab where it says add media. And we can just select the image that we want to add. Let's just go with this one here. And then we can click insert into post. And that will add this into our post. Now if we wanted to, we can also add it a different way. We can go down here to the featured image, which is going to be the bottom one on the right sidebar here. And then we can add it in another one here. Let's just go with the line so we have some difference here. And you can see it for yourself what it looks like. And we'll just go up here and click update to make those changes go into effect. Now if we go back over here and we reset or refresh the post, we'll see that now this is the featured image, this lion. And down in the post itself is the smaller image that we placed within the body text here of our post. So that's the difference between a featured image and the image that we'll put into our post and this is good to know if you are a beginner because you want to add media to your website most likely and not have it be so bland even if you're doing like a minimal blog like i actually did a tutorial on on here you'll still probably want to add images in it to break it up a little bit with the text so it's good to know how to do the basics and add images to your posts here or your pages so I hope this was helpful, everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone.